testing Gemini CLI to create any type of application or any type of court testing. In this example, we will be doing a directory website using this custom prompt right here. So this entire prompt will automatically create you a theme for your directory. So this prompt is effective if you're gonna take data from GFA Scraper. So here we took a copy, we took a sample 100 listings in beauty salon categories within Australia. So we will use this 100 listings to build our directory. So we're gonna download this. So once you download that, it will be in CSV format, but you have to convert that into Excel SX so that you will be able to upload it easily. You need to install this local WP so that you can set up a WordPress website within your local computer. So as you can see right here, we completed the setup. This is an existing directory already. So let's go to WP Admin because we already uploaded the Excel SX that we scraped earlier from here in GFA Scraper. So you need to install this custom plugin. So this custom plugin is available in the description below. So this is Excel SX importer. You just need to import the file which you converted from CSD because when you download it from here, it will be in CSV format and then convert it to Excel SX. Then you'll be able to import that easily. I have the full tutorial in the description below. If you want to see how you can use this, it's very simple. It will make your life easier, especially when you're uploading a bunch of large listings. So we proceed installing Gemini CLI. Here you can have the free tier request. So initially you can have 60 requests per day or here you can have 100 requests per day. So it depends on the token. So let's have a look if this still existing, the free tier. Now we're gonna install Gemini in our terminal. So you have ways to install that with Node. This is the most popular. You can just simply run npm install dash G CLI. So that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna copy this. If you are using Mac, you can also do this. I'm using Mac, but since I have Node.js installed in my computer, so I'll just use this command right here. Opening your terminal, so you just need to paste that right there and hit on enter. So once that's installed, you just simply need to run this command, Gemini. So let's do that. So here I'm just gonna type in Gemini. And there you go, our installation is done. So you can see I am using my terminal is in a light theme, so you can't read exactly, but this is how it's gonna look. Now. Here, what you can do in order for you to use the free tier, you can either log in via Google account or use the Gemini API key. So to use the Gemini API key, you can come here to your AI studio. So just go to aistudio.google.com and here you can get your API key by just clicking this get API key right here. If you did not add billings payment method here in your Google account, you will be in the free tier, which very limited, but that's fine. Anyway, this won't cause us too much tokens to use. So I think the free tier will be enough for us to build our first directory right here. But the simplest way is you can just simply log in with Google, which we can do right now. And there you go. As you can see right here, Gemini code Assis and Gemini CLI are now authorized to access your account. So let's go back to the terminal and we're done. Uh, that's it. Now what I want to do is I want to access the folder of this directory right here. So I will take this site shell. So from here, you see I am in the folder of my WordPress so you click on LS. So these are the files of our WordPress. Now, if you are opening another terminal, you need to type Gemini again so that you will get access to this particular directory. Now, let me just quickly change the theme because I can't really see the text of Gemini CLI. So let me just quickly do it. All right, uh, this is much better now. So the next step that we're gonna do is grab a copy of this and paste that to a black notepad. So here in the previous video, I created a directory and I was using GLM 4.5. So in this one, we're gonna change that easily to Gemini CLI, all right? And we just need to change the theme to Gemini CLI and we're ready to go. We just need to prompt this. So I'm just gonna take a copy of this and head back to my terminal. So let me just paste it right here. All right, so it's been accepted and it's using Gemini Pro actually Gemini 2.5 Pro. Again, this is a free tier. So let me see if the free tokens we have for a day will be enough to create our directory because it's using this model by default. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So as you can see right here, it's started to analyze our prompt and here it will just ask you some basic questions to allow access to execute some commands. So here we just choose this option to yes, allow always for this session. Now proceed with that. All right, so as you can see, it created the directory within the theme folder, which we are intending, and it's trying to uh, I analyze the prompt. All right, so it looks like it completed the task. It's pretty fast, actually. So hopefully it gets all our instructions. Now, let me open my local WP and let's go to WP admin. 
Now going to appearance and themes, we should see a new theme right here, which is this one, TT Salon Gemini CLI, and we're going to activate this. Alright, at the moment of truth, let's go to the home page. So this part is the hero section, so we will add a hero section image right here, and this is the election of the state. So it's reloading the city and browse beauty salon by state. So yep, it's displaying it pretty decent. We just need to add individually the image per category right here or taxonomy. And this is the popular beauty salons around Australia. So it's displaying uh, pretty well. So let's check one of the listing right here. And this is how it created the uh, breadcrumbs. We can from Gemini CLI to fix that if we want, but all the structures has been followed correctly. As you can see, we have the nearby beauty salon in the city as well as the state. So there are things that we need to fix, but the initial instruction have been followed correctly. Now, things that you need to tell Gemini CLI is to make the images in all card section equal, equal height. So all the cards height will be in a uniform. All right, they're all equal sizes. So as you can see right here, so some images may have appear taller and some may appear shorter so that's one from that we're gonna tell Kim and CLI to perform and also I noticed to fix the breadcrumbs right here and also fix the sizing of the fe featured image per listing but overall it's pretty decent and it's free actually so using the free tier we are able to generate a complete a WordPress directory team using the from right here so it's available in the description below if you want to access that so if you're wondering how we are able to add featured in image in each category so you just need to install this plugin called category images and then once you have that you can go to the custom post right here and here this is your custom taxonomy or custom categories and here you can add individually the image so i suggest just add to the parent taxonomy uh, in our case the main state will be the parent taxonomy so you will notice the parent taxonomy right here are the first levels so you will see right here the australian capital region and the new south wales queensland so you'll just need to go to uh, those taxonomy and just update the image right there. So for example, this New South Wales, you're going to click on edit. So generate an image related to New South Wales and then upload it right here. Click on update and it will be updated automatically because in our prompt, we already mentioned that if we are using the particular plugin, which is right here, then just use the function or the method so that it will automatically acquire the featured image for each taxonomy or for each category. So I think that's about it. So that's how easy you can install and use Japanese CLI using free tier. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.